I still haven't found the cold robot, but I'm pretty sure this is where Momo is at, so... I guess let's hop up here and go say hi to Momo, the outsider. does not look happy. Hello. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. What do you want? Um, you want that? No. Okay. How about this? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yes, please. Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone, and I'm all alone, and I'm trying to adjust my camera. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that... ...transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. So we've got Momo's Notebook, one out of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. I think so, too. There we go. Now we're talking. Das Habenbier. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters. Um, can I, can I scroll? How do... Hi, where's my, where's my mouse thing? Okay. Can I? There we go. That's how it works. Got it, that one. 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Hello, cow. The door is wooden on this side because, Momo, you will remember that we were here. Is there anything else in Momo's, Momo's house here? Um, I have to. I'm sorry. Okay. Lots of books here, but none of them appear to be any more of the workbook or whatever it is. Back home too. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Very interesting how these robots ended up in a place where... Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to topple all those books. Yep, didn't mean to topple those ones either. Outsiders. But I was going to say, it's interesting how these robots ended up in a world in which... Uh, you just leave your fridge wide open, buddy? Your electricity bill must be through the roof. They have no access to the outside world, and the idea of outside is little more than a myth. That's, I don't know, I just find that interesting. Yep, yep, okay. We've scratched on all the things, we've looked in all the corners of everything. And... I think... It's safe to say that we can uh, move on now. Okay. What is that up there? 
Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial, celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54, easy for me to say, billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the Moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the Moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. That, my friends, is your, I don't know, like, first, second, third, whatever grade science class material right there. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Okay. That seems like a lead, I would agree. So I want to look at our thing here. So we're looking at kind of dots in the nose, if I'm just trying to think generally about this. Now we've been over to this area before, this is not necessarily new, but I don't remember if this window was available before. I'd have to go back and look at the previous video to know. It seems like if it were open, I would have tried to get into it, but maybe not. I really do enjoy some of the artwork in this game, like literally these paintings or photos or whatever they're supposed to be. Kind of cool. Mount. Sheet music, six out of eight. Excellent. Can go hear another tune today. That's good stuff. I like that. Oh, so many books. So, so many books. What do we have going on over here? So we got Clementine's notebook. And outside her notebook is the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Um, can I, can I do some typing? I'd really like to do some typing. Okay. Apparently, the answer to that question, by the way, is no. My cat no longer wants to play with us today, so maybe she'll join us later. I don't know. I think she was overheating is the problem, which I understand. I'm overheating. Can we get down from here? I don't think so. Maybe? Here we go. Uh, I don't want to ask B12 for help just yet. Thanks. We will do that momentarily, but first... More rusk, my friend. Yes, I do. In fact, I think I have one ready just for you right now.
we get another one out of this machine? Because that'd be really fantastic. The answer to that question was a heart-wrenching no. Yeah. All right. We'll ask B12 for help. I think the outsider seems to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. Oh. Well, yeah, I know. Okay. So, if you're saying we need to go up, um, we've already talked to the outsider. And now I think we just have to look for more... more of the things. Best as I can tell, anyway. Yep. Can't make a noise. I think, at this point, I might have to just wander around a little bit. I guess we haven't been over here already. That's interesting. Because I certainly would have done that. We did wander over here, I know that, but this didn't make it in. But anyway, I think this is our next destination over here. I mean, this basically looks like a library or a, a bookstore of some sort. More sheet music, that's exciting. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Someone has not read The Elements of Style by Strunk and White. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. have no idea. If you don't have a cat, you don't understand. And if you do, you totally understand. Broken string theory, guitar maintenance, the great bolt shortage. read some of these other titles. It's interesting how the camera just keeps on zooming out. At some point, it's going to hit a wall, right? Right about now-ish. Okay. That is brilliant. Oh, that is so good. We're still looking for more of uh, Momo's books in here. Never mind anything else that might be interesting, useful, etc. So that's our little nap spot up there. Obligated to do this. Leather couch, I mean, come on, duh. Requirement. Lucky that's all I'm doing. Lots of computers in here. Gonna make a mess of all that stuff, I'm sure. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess, the librarian. So we're looking for a bunch of books, concealing a safe. Definitely have knocked over a stack or two of books already. Okay, let's try this one.
Can we get on that gigantic stack of books? No. Okay. I think we've exhausted pretty much all the stacks. Well, and if that's the case, then where is this safe? Um, cat. Thanks. You don't, well, I mean, I guess you do need to move the mouse if you need more space, but just the same. Appreciate it if you didn't do that. Just saying. Looks like I need to wander. Aha. Huh. I did miss a stack of books. Need to use uh, keys. There we go. Take the notebook. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. Well, wasn't Doc safe after all? After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. I want to know what else is in there, and can I take it? I guess not. Okay. Out we go! Three notebooks down, one to go. So back out here. Looks like right up over there is going to be our last one. If you don't know where I mean right up over there, well then just bear with me as we navigate that general direction. I'm gonna knock things over. That's what I do because I am a cant. How in the world do I get up to that? Okay. Let's try this way. Jump up here, jump up here. Jump up here, jump up here. Go around. And then over here. And then up. Hell you. I would really like to find a vending machine. Except I don't think there are any more. <laughs> Ventilation power supply. Oh, I remember. These things worked by plugging them into somewhere else to make something else work. Okay, so where are we taking this to? Um, I guess we just turned off the ventilation so we could get in. Got it. Properly hydrated on our journey. So, anyway. Not a lot going on with this particular residence, it seems. That is a 16 hour clock? Okay. Oh, there it is, right there. Right in there. That's a Balter's book. Finally, the last notebook, even though it was the second one we should have found. This one seems to belong to someone named Sabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed, breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. 
With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Indeed, let us show him what we found. But first, let's make sure we've checked out everything in here, because if we miss something, I'm going to be upset. Yep. Just moving everything off the counter like it was intended. Hello. And there we go. That's how we get out. Just like that. Brilliant. It's funny because I'm pretty sure we've seen... Yeah. But I guess because the shade was down, the window didn't look open, therefore you couldn't get in. Got it. You say we've seen that particular little alleyway before, so that's interesting. I think we've been up there. No, we haven't. I take it back because this was the first time we've been over here. Got it. Um, I guess we'll take the bucket because we do have one more thing to do before we call it a day. Okay, jumping on down, jumping on down. Not down that way. That'd be bad. Hey, Teddy. Let's go up this way. And we're gonna head over here. And jump! They didn't jump. Okay. More rusk, my friend. How you doing? Mildly important information. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Renowned algorithm. much for that morusk and on that note we are going to get out of here we will catch up on the next one till then thanks for watching see you later